Police, that's what I need. Here. You don't want the police, you want me. Why do I want you? Master of disguises. Mysterious. Watch. I've seen enough. Marvelous. How do you like it? Stupendous. Say, who are you anyway? Private detective, my card here. <laughs> my card here. Crime's committed. I mean to solve while you wait. Well, are you sure you can cope with the situation? Oh, yeah, Levi. Just as smooth as ice. Everything will be grand. All right. See that nothing happens to spoil the pleasure of our guests. And above all, see that nothing happens to the show tomorrow night. Kitty's got her heart set on making a huge success of it. Hey, hey, hey. You got your ice cube. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it's a funny habit, carrying ice cubes around in your pocket. Oh, hello. Have we met before someplace? <laughs> Face looks kind of familiar. Your Highness. Get up, you fool. Hurry up, get up. You want they should find out I'm not a phony? But your Highness. But if they find out I'm not a phony, they are no longer amused. No longer amused, they are no longer interested. No longer interest, no longer money. No longer money, I'm just like you, Count Alexander Alexandrovich Alexandrovsky, a poor slob. Look, Betty, how would you like to meet a real honest to goodness nobleman? You mean one of those hand kissers? Oh, no, that's not for me. Oh, but that's just a preliminary. He's got titles up to here. Well, just so they reach around me, that's all I care about. There he is now. Well, Jeff. Yeah? Not that I'm a fortune hunter or anything, but I understand there's a lot of wealthy heiresses on the loose here today. You know, uh, girls with beautiful figures in the bank. <laughs> well, they tell me Gloria Van Dearborn's looking for a new title. Now, would you be kind enough to locate her and introduce me? You see, I'm in the mood to make rich girls happy. Sure. Here, you came with those people that gave me that ice, now give it back to them. Kitty, I want to speak to you, alone. <laughs> oh, there's Gloria now. Point her out to me. It's not proper to point, Peppy. She's the girl loaded down with the ice. The girl with all the ice, huh? That's right. Oh, well, what I have to do for money? <laughs> you look lovely today with your ice. You know me? Everyone knows you but me. Oh. Can't we go somewhere and talk? Gee whiz. At last. Someone who wants to talk first. Shall we step in there? Shall we? Oh, boy. Cozy, isn't it? I kiss your hand, madame. Oh, well, well, we just did that. Remember, I have a face, too. Ah, even to Van Dearborn. I'm fascinating. Say, so what is this Van Dearborn business? You are not Gloria Van Dearborn. Are you kidding? 198th Street in the Bronx, that's me. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Me. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. Here. You have an outboard motor on him? That's right. What outboard motor? No, he's tall, dark, and handsome, and I think he's going to be in love with me. Says so in my palm. Oh, that's an ant. Then you came along, and I was glad. But now I'm getting mad. Now suppose the girl not Boris, but you're as dead as a dinosaurus. What kind of love is this? Frankly, I don't get it. If this is all romance is, we might as well forget it. The hints that I throw at you would explain. 
cold, wet dynamite. But you're as cold as a bronze statue, huh? You don't know why. What kind of love is this? Frankly, I'm disgusted for all the good my heart is. It might as well be busted. I don't know what our romance seems to lack. But when I love you, no! I can't even get one little kiss. What kind of love is this? What kind of love is this? Frankly, I'm disgusted for all the good my heart is. It might as well be busted. I don't know what our romance seems to lack. But when I love you, don't know that. I can't even get one little kiss. What kind of love is this? One trunk, one dress farm, one tuba. Hey, buddy, bring me a pitcher of ice water and a menu. <laughs> oh, boy, we've got everything but the kitchen sink. One sink. Did you bring the moon? Moon. Snow. Snow. One canary. <laughs> hey, where's the canary? In the cat. Let's see, act one, scene two. On the table is King Tut's skull. Did you get King Tut's skull? There. Check. What's that? It's King Tut when he was a little boy. Check. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. How do you do? How do you do? Are you bothered with corns and bunions? Oh, yes, a lot. Very, very, very badly. <laughs> Thanks for asking me, anyhow. I'll call the police if you don't stop following me. Who, me? <laughs> Oh, brother, you better see your dentist at least twice a year. My nobleman! Say, you! Hey, what's going on here? I thought you was going to put a stop to all this madness. A finger never fails. I'll be seeing you. Hey, what's this? I made it for Woody, Act Three, when they make him a knight. I know, but what are these for? Coat of arms. Come on, let's check the wardrobe for the garden party number. Okay. Lady De Truth? Check. Lady Vandermeer? Check. Lady Wintergarden? No, you gotta get a white dress for Lady Wintergarden. <laughs> Check. Put it in the closet. Hey, Ollie, is that kitty a pal? Hey, Bill! Hey, 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 He's dressed just like us. Yeah. What are you doing in my closet? Your closet, our closet. This is my room and those are my clothes. This is our room and those are our props. Shut me snay it to get out of those smocks. Take them off, you imbeciles. Look, Rasputin, Shorty the butler gave us this room. So don't you think you're making a mistake? Ah! Hereafter, I'll answer my own questions. Let's talk this thing over quietly. Light, if you please. There we are. Uh, down like that. Crafty, isn't it? On your mark, get set. Oh! Wow! Oh, you're gonna play hard again, huh? Oh, 
towards you. Hey, your Highness. Stop that Highness. Yes, your Your pants. Mordred! Down. From now on, Count Alexander Alexandrovich Alexandrovsky, you may consider yourself a Grand Duke. Say, did you see a tall man without any... <laughs> what a place. Hey! You know what you're doing? Of course I know what I'm doing. I'm the spinal system. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not me. It's hard luck to walk on a ladder. <laughs> oh, my ear. <laughs> Songs bloom on the windowsills. It's heaven for two. There's a picket fence of moonlight bars and a shingle roof of April stars and shelves of spring in crystal jars. It's heaven for two. There's a and second mortgage of a million moonbeams. But we could pay it off in no time with our very best dreams. There's a rainbow rug upon the floor and a horseshoe moon above the door. The only thing it needs is you, my heaven. There's a cottage hidden in the hills By a waterfall where stardust spills And songs bloom on the windowsills It's heaven for you Hey, Stinky, will you go on home? Stinky, will you go home? That's a good boy. Go on home and get yourself sick on spinach. <laughs> All right, go ahead with the song. There's a picket fence of moonlight bars And the shingle roof of April stars And shelves of spring in crystal jars It's heaven for two There's a first and second mortgage of a million But we could pay it off in no time With our very best dreams There's a rainbow rug upon the floor And the horseshoe moon above the door The only thing it needs Oh, I didn't mean for this to happen. 